Yo, what up guys, it's Sinu here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make this really cool intro, which I think looks really good and it doesn't really need that much skills and effort, which is perfect if you are planning to start a brand new YouTube channel. So without being sad, let's get started. Alright, so let's start with Photoshop Touch. If you guys don't have this app, the link will be down in the description below. You can go ahead and download it for free and then import on an empty project your name. So I actually added a name as you can see right over here. Any font will actually do. You don't really need a really cool font or anything. So let's go ahead and start by duplicating the layer right over here. And then once you duplicate it, select the bottom layer and then go ahead to this end button, which you should find it in the top of Photoshop and then go ahead to fill and stroke. So the first thing that you have to do is to go ahead and go to the type and change it from fill, which is the default option to stroke, just like this. And then go ahead and play around with this slider. It really depends on which font did you use. So I think 32 was perfect for me. So now you can go ahead and just change the color to whatever you want. So I think this looks good. So let's go ahead and hit on done and hit on save. Now you need to go ahead and press on this button and hit save to gallery and then make sure that you change the format to PNG otherwise it's not gonna work and then hit on OK and then go back to the actual uh, project and then go ahead and just select the pixels of this uh, layer right over here and go to the fill and stroke change the type to fill and then you can go ahead now and change the color of the stroke to whatever you want i'm going with this color and let's go ahead and do the exact same thing save to gallery with the format png and hit on ok and you can do the exact same thing for uh, you know to change the color so change the color to whatever you want so let's go ahead and just change it and do the exact same thing save it as a png to your gallery okay so once you finish doing that on photoshop touch hop into kind monster and if you guys don't have it the link will be down in the description below you can go ahead and download it hit on layer image and once you guys do that just import the first one right over here which has no stroke so go ahead and just add it and make sure you go to this option right over here which is the split screen and hit on this option right over here you need to choose this option once that's done all you have to do is to go ahead now and go to the end animation and add whatever end animation you want i suggest you to go ahead and use the brand new animations which is the enter animations i'm going with enter slide left with 1.5 seconds that looks pretty smooth and if you want to change it you are free to do so so let's go ahead to exactly when the uh, text stops and let's go ahead and add a brand new layer and choose any color as you can see i added more colors but it really depends on you which color you want let's go ahead and add the split screen to our uh, text and make sure you use the exact same split screen as you can see now we have this really boring animation it doesn't look pretty so let's go ahead to the end animation for the brand new layer and go and choose any wipe uh, animation you want i'm going to, i'm gonna go for the wipe left and as you can see that looks really good and we absolutely did nothing that looks really good right off the bat and now you can go ahead and just add more layers you know just to add that really cool complicated look to your intro so let's go ahead and add another color make sure it's not the same color it's a different one add the split screen option to it and then go to the end animation and make sure you choose the exact same wipe animation i went for the wipe left so as you can see right over here this looks really good and you can add as much colors as you want okay so i went ahead and i added a brand new color and you can add as much colors as you want it really depends on your taste as you can see i added three colors you can add seven eight nine ten it really depends on you so now as you can see right over here all that's left is to go ahead and save the video using that share button and you can save it in any quality you want i suggest you to go to the highest quality as you can and let's just wait for it and move on to the next step Okay, so now I'm on Vizmato, which is an app that I made a video about it like a long time ago. And I think it's a great app to add those last touches to our intro. So let's go ahead and select the clip and then you can go ahead now and just add a music. So you can go to that pen button and just add whatever music you want. And this app has like some 
uh, music into it and I don't really suggest you to do that I'm going to use my own music so you can go ahead and cut it and use whatever part you want from the music so let's go ahead and just apply this and I think this music is really cool and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just add those effects you know there's shake effects there is warp effects there's a really like different amount of effects and just add as much as you want to make your intro look as complicated and flashy as you want and pretty much yeah this is how to create the stroke intro i think this idea is pretty dope and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below this intro requires no effort as you saw in this video to make so i encourage you to go ahead and create this intro if you want to start a youtube channel it's really simple yet it looks amazing so i think this is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did slap that like button also go ahead and leave a sweet comment subscribe if you didn't join me already thank you all for watching and i see you the next time peace out